Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to the channel. This is another GLFW window tutorial, and specifically, we're going to be dealing with disabling the cursor. And let me show you what I mean by that. So, if we go ahead and run that, um, we see a window and we see a cursor. Now, there may be times where you might want to get rid of this cursor, right? So, let's say you're making a game like Minecraft or Valorant, you might want to hide this or disable it. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's go ahead and hop into the code. And I'm just going to paste this right here. So this is the function we want to be using. GLFW set input mode. I'm going to walk you through all the parameters and what they do. Alright, so window is just this GLFW window right here. And all it's doing is saying, oh, I'm dealing with this window. It's just, it's just telling GLFW, Oh, we're dealing with this window. Let's apply this change with this window. So let's say you had like five windows, but you only wanted to disable the cursor for one of those. This is exactly what this is for. You just select which window you want, you're dealing with. All right, next up, we have GLFW cursor, and that's because we're dealing with the cursor. So this the second parameter is what we're actually dealing with. And the third parameter is what we're doing to this cursor that we selected here. So um, in our case, we're hiding it, right? So, in fact, let's go ahead and run this. Alright, so we see a window right here, and we have our cursor. Now, as this cursor goes into the window, it disappears, it gets hidden. And that's exactly what you may want, but there is one slight problem with this if you're making a video game. You might want so as you move your mouse that's what's causing your camera to turn in a video game and you might want an infinite amount of movement but what happens is when we move our cursor too much it gets locked up right here as you guys can see so that's gonna kind of restrict the amount of uh, degrees we can turn if that's how I should put it it's yeah, it, it depends how you're using this, but long story short, this is limiting our uh, cursor movement. And we kind of want to get rid of that. So if you want unlimited cursor movement, you want to go ahead and set this to disabled. And this will do the same exact thing as um, hidden did. It will hide it, but it will also disable it. And what this does is it just gives you an unlimited amount of cursor movement. You won't be restricted by those borders. So yeah, I'm moving my mouse currently right now, uh, and I can always move it. And, it'll, and if this was a game and the, I was controlling the camera, the camera would always move. So that's great. Um, however, this is gonna be a little bit hard to close the window, so I'm just gonna go hit Windows, and yeah, okay. So yeah, so that's basically it for this tutorial. So yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I am going to be continuing uploading these short tutorials around game development and computer graphics. So if you guys find this useful and you guys are into this kind of stuff, this is you're in the right place. Consider even subscribing because this is the content that's coming here. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.